What is cryptocurrency? Cryptocurrency is a digital currency that can be used to purchase goods and services. Unlike traditional currency, cryptocurrencies are completely virtual. Similar to real-world currencies, there are lots of different types of cryptocurrencies. Some of the more famous ones are Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Dogecoin. How does cryptocurrency work? The value of real-world currencies comes from the state and banks vouching for them. When people use banks and credit cards, these authorities keep a record of savings and transactions. Cryptocurrencies are decentralized. That means that they aren't reliant on a central authority. Instead, cryptocurrency records are stored on a computer database secured by cryptography, hence the name cryptocurrency. Copies of this database or digital ledger are stored on a vast network of computers which verify every single transaction made with these cryptocurrencies. Each of these computers are called nodes, and in return for these computers storing the database and verifying transactions, their owners are rewarded with newly created cryptocurrency. What is a blockchain? Every time there is a transaction, these computers compete with each other to verify the transaction by solving complex mathematical problems. The computer which is able to solve the problem the fastest is able to verify and add a set of transactions, or rather a block of transactions to the ledger, which is also called a blockchain. This updated blockchain is what the network of computers maintaining the blockchain will proceed with. The process of verifying and adding transactions to a blockchain is known as mining. Coins versus tokens. There are generally two types of cryptocurrencies, coins and tokens. Cryptocurrency coins have their own blockchain network built specifically for that coin. Cryptocurrency tokens can be generated by existing blockchain networks and they are much easier to create. The advantages of cryptocurrency. Decentralization. The decentralized nature of cryptocurrency is attractive to many who are wary of central authorities having so much control over and information about an individual's assets. Secure transactions. Transactions made with cryptocurrency are extremely secure because it uses advanced encryption techniques. Alongside this, as transactions are being monitored and maintained by a vast network of computers, it makes it extremely difficult for fraudulent activities to occur. Speed. Cryptocurrency transactions are processed much faster than transactions processed by banks, which can take several days. The disadvantages of cryptocurrency. Although cryptocurrency is seen as the future of finance by many, it has several disadvantages that can't be ignored. Volatility. Cryptocurrencies are known for their volatile nature and their value can fluctuate greatly over a short period of time. Lack of regulation. Cryptocurrency is largely unregulated, which means that scams are common. Bad actors can generate a token, set up a website, buy social media ads and convince people to invest in their currency, which could turn out to be worthless and nothing more than a Ponzi scheme. Adoption. Cryptocurrencies are not widely accepted as a form of payment, which limits their use. Complexity. Cryptocurrency can be difficult for beginners to understand, especially with so much jargon in use, which limits its accessibility to a wider audience. What are NFTs? It's more accurate to think of cryptocurrencies as digital assets rather than money. NFT stands for non-fungible token, and it represents ownership of a unique item or piece of content, such as a piece of artwork, music, video, or even tweets. Cryptocurrency coins such as Bitcoin are fungible tokens, meaning one Bitcoin is the same as any other. And in contrast, NFTs represent unique digital assets. NFTs are bought and sold on blockchain marketplaces, and they use a technology called smart contracts to ensure that each NFT is one of a kind and can't be replicated or replaced. You might wonder why NFTs are valuable at all. If everyone with access to the internet can go and view a piece of digital artwork via a web browser, Why does ownership of it have any value? Well, you can go and visit the Mona Lisa in the Louvre, but that doesn't mean that the painting loses its value. And it's the same for an NFT. One of the main advantages of NFTs is that they allow creators the ability to monetize their work in a new way, and they provide collectors with a new type of ownership. Bitcoin, Ethereum and Dogecoin Bitcoin, Ethereum and Dogecoin are all cryptocurrencies, but they have different underlying technologies, purposes and communities. Bitcoin is the first and most well-known cryptocurrency. It was created in 2009 by an unknown person or group using the pseudonym Satoshi Nakamoto. Why is cryptocurrency bad for the environment? Cryptocurrency mining requires a lot of energy by computers and the process is environmentally damaging. Studies estimate that Bitcoin mining uses more power globally per year than some countries. However, some cryptocurrencies are taking steps to move towards more sustainable and eco-friendly mining practices. The future of cryptocurrency. 
Some possible trends and developments that could shape the future of cryptocurrency include increased adoption, resulting in greater regulatory oversight, and the emergence of new cryptocurrencies that could potentially challenge the dominance of existing coins such as Bitcoin and Ethereum. And that concludes my video on cryptocurrency for beginners. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.